Hi guys and welcome to my Windows 10 tutorial of how to install Windows 10 on VirtualBox. You will need two things. You will need to download the Windows Technical Preview. The link is in the description. And you will need, of course, VirtualBox. The link again is in the description. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit new and we're going to give this a name and we're going to give it Windows 10. Next thing you want to do is you want to select the nearest operating system and you want to select the Windows 8.1. Set your memory size to the largest you can. I've set mine to roughly about 5000 megabytes and hit create. Next steps, I'm just going to use the default and I'm just going to hit next, 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 all the way through. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to display and we want to enable 3D and 2D acceleration and bump the settings up as high as they go. When you're done, we just need to go down to OK and now we're going to start the virtual machine. Now we're going to go to the ISO. So browse the folder icon, Windows 10, there's your ISO Windows 10 and now we're going to start. So now we've opened our virtual box and we're installing Windows 10 onto it. Say do not show this message again and capture. Now we're just going to wait for Windows 10 to load. Now we're going to install Windows 10. So this is the easy part. Most people know how to install Windows 10. Now we're just going to input the serial. You will find the serial in the description. It's perfectly legal. It's been handed out by Microsoft. This was the serial used in the public betas. When you're done, hit next. What you want to do is hit custom, go to new, and you want to install onto your virtual hard drive so it won't destroy any of your data. As we've created a new virtual hard drive, we want to hit next, and this will install Windows 10. bit is essential that when you see this screen do not hit any keys let the install run in this part you're gonna either use Express or custom settings and I'm just gonna go with custom settings most of the settings now I've just left as default but if you want to change them or read through them um, work away the reason why I use custom settings is I'm just gonna check over what I'm agreeing to Next step here will ask you if you want to set up with a Microsoft account, but I'm just going to sign in with a local account. At the bottom you want to click sign in without a Microsoft account. So type whatever you want as the username and a password and just hit next. The next step is all automated so you will not have anything else to do. This install is now complete and now you've got Windows 10 on VirtualBox. I hope it's helped, so if it has, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel for more techie and tutorial things, and I hope to see you next time. Over and out.